and welcome to the Mirroring Soul. I'm Lila and today I'm going to be sharing with you a yoga sequence designed for the new moon in Leo. Leo is ruled by the sun, a fire element, and has a warm radiance and masculine energy. And we can use this energy to set a fire in us, to pursue our passions, to lead our own lives with the courage of a lion. This new moon affects our bodies, specifically the areas of the heart, the aorta, blood pressure, and blood circulation. The sequence is designed to use the breath and move the body in a way that encourages blood flow, but also to focus on our lower three chakras, our root, sacral, and solar plexus. When these are balanced, it helps our confidence, our self-esteem, our creativity, as well as manifesting our desires, but doing so in a way that feels grounded and able to withstand any challenges that may arise. As a reminder with any yoga practice, please remember to listen to your body. If you start to find it difficult to breathe or any discomfort in any way, know that you don't have to do the pose. You can back off a little bit, see if that feels better. There are many options and modifications you can do and I will be showing these throughout the video. So just know you have some options there and you don't have to do everything that I will be showing today. For our practice today, you're gonna want your yoga mat, a bolster, blocks and a strap, and possibly a blanket as well. When you're ready, I'll meet you on the mat. So to begin, we're going to find an easy seat really straightening our spine, pulling upwards from the crown of the head, grounding through the sits bones. And we're going to, without pausing, exhale forcefully through the nose while contracting your abdominal muscles. And we'll keep our inhales and exhales equal in length, but we'll continue with the rhythm, inhaling passively and exhaling forcefully. So again, kind of find your own rhythm here for the next few minutes. We're gonna to continue to do that and get faster. We're gonna take a few breaks in between. So if you're ready, we'll go ahead and begin. Ahead and get ready for elevated lotus pose you're going to cross your legs into lotus broaden the shoulders hands are by your hips fingers are spread wide into the floor press your hands into the floor and as you exhale go ahead and engage that lower core lifting your hips up off the floor and gaze straight ahead beautiful and you can go ahead and lower the hips back down Roll out the shoulders just a little bit. Now we're gonna repeat that one more time. 
Keeping your legs crossed, hands going to the mat, fingers spread wide. And exhale, pressing those hands into the floor, lifting the hips up, keeping your gaze straight ahead. Beautiful. And you can go ahead and lower the hips back down. Rolling the shoulders out. And we'll do that one more time. Go ahead, take a full breath in, spread those hands out wide, fingertips, and press the hands into the floor, lift the hips up, engage the floor, keep the gaze straight ahead. Beautiful, and you can lower on down. We're gonna go into a half boat pose, if that's in your practice, or full, if that one's in your practice. So we'll go ahead, and allow the legs to come in front of us. You can keep the legs bent here and slowly recline the upper body just back a little bit, engaging the core. And you can keep one foot on the floor if you like, lifting one, the opposite leg, and then the other. And then you can rest them both down. Beautiful. And then to kind of move on further, into this pose, you go ahead, still with the legs bent, take a full breath, and exhale, lifting both legs off and keeping your arms reaching forward towards those feet, keeping the spine straight. Beautiful. And we'll lower them, and for a third time, if you're ready for a full boat, we'll go ahead and exhale, straighten those legs fully, point the toes, and reach the arms towards the feet. Beautiful. And you can go ahead and lower the legs down all the way to the floor. We're gonna go into seated forward bend. So maybe use a strap here for the bottom of your feet just to help you with this stretch. And if you're ready, go ahead and sit high up on your sits bones. The hands are gonna to reach towards the feet. The feet stay together. Maybe the elbows rest on the ground or just outside your legs. Maybe your face rests on your knees. We're just gonna stay here, really allowing our body to melt forward, not forcing it, really just allowing gravity here to help us. Beautiful, and you can slowly roll on up. And we're gonna go into side plank on the left. We're gonna align our wrist underneath our shoulder, balance on the edge of the bottom foot, creating a straight line with your body. Top hand reaches straight up. Maybe you wanna lift that top leg up as well, and you can reach your hand towards that big toe, or you can just keep it side by side here. Beautiful, and you can go ahead, and we're gonna go roll over to center onto plank pose. Go ahead, resting on the toes, keeping the wrist under the shoulders, neck in line with the spine. And then we're gonna go into downward dog, reach the heels towards the ground, draw the shoulder blades back and down hips high towards the sky. Beautiful. You can shake out your head here. Maybe we'll roll it down. Yes and no. Walk the feet out. And we're gonna go into low lunge on the left. Stepping that left leg forward, aligning the knee over the ankle, resting the back leg on the mat, untuck the toes, square the hips, and reach the arms up and back. Shining the chest forward, maybe looking up in the direction of the hands. Maybe adjust 
flexing the foot if you need to. Taking a full breath all the way in and all the way out. And we're gonna repeat this, bringing that left leg back to meet the right. We're gonna go into the side plank on the right side this time, aligning the wrist under the shoulder, balancing on the edge of that bottom foot, creating a straight line with our body. The top hand is going to reach straight up. And if it's in your practice and you wanna go ahead and lift that top leg and reach the hand towards that foot, you can try that. Beautiful, and we're gonna come into plank. Balancing on the toes, keeping the wrist under the shoulders, the neck in line with that spine. Really continuing to work on the fire in our core and those lower chakras. And then you can go ahead and bring the hips back and up and downward dog, reaching the heels towards the ground, drawing the shoulder blades down towards the back, away from the ears. pedaling out the feet again. Beautiful, and we're gonna go into a low lunge on the right. Step that right leg forward, aligning the knee over the ankle, resting the back leg on the mat, squaring the hips, reaching the arms up and back. Shining our chest forward. Beautiful, and you can bring that leg back to meet the other leg and we're going to go into standing forward walk the feet towards the hand allowing our upper body to just melt forward folding from the hips relaxing the neck maybe the hands touch the floor hold on to the legs creating a deeper stretch there And we'll go ahead and bend the legs, lowering the hip into chair, making sure to align the knees over the toes, not passing the toes. Reach the hands up, draw the shoulders down, keeping length in throughout that spine. Beautiful. And we'll go ahead into mountain pose, straightening the legs and back, lengthen the neck, relax the shoulders and arms down by your side. breath here in and out we'll go ahead into a standing forward bend folding from the hips relaxing the neck Maybe the hands touch the floor hold the legs allowing our body to really relax here with gravity We'll go into revolve chair left, bending the legs, lowering the hips, aligning the knees over the toes, keep the feet together, hands come to heart center, broaden the shoulders, twist the upper body to the left, cross the right elbow over the left thigh. Beautiful. And you'll stand forward bend, fold from the hips, relax the neck. Maybe the hands rest on the floor on the legs. And we're going to revolve chair on the right, bend the legs, lower the hips, align the knees over the toes, keep the feet together, hands come to heart center, broaden the shoulders, twist the upper body to the right, cross the left elbow over the right thigh.
beautiful. And we're going to go ahead, stand forward, bend, fold from the hips, relax the neck. Again, maybe bringing the hands down to the floor, holding onto the legs. We're going to slowly take our time rolling up vertebrae by vertebrae, straining the legs and back, lengthening the neck, relaxing the shoulders and arms down by our side, bringing awareness to how you're feeling in this moment. And we're going to go into a side, intense side stretch on the left. So bring that right leg back, foot pointed to 45 degree, legs are straight, square the hips, interlace the arms behind your back, lower the upper body to the level of the ground, neck and spine are straight. Beautiful. Go ahead and inhale, raise the upper body, going into pyramid, arms are going to go overhead, exhale and fold from the hips, relax the neck and shoulders down, fingertips can rest on the floor or on blocks on the side of your legs. Beautiful and slowly raise up, inhale and raise the upper body, bring that right foot to meet the left, straighten the left leg and you can bend, lift and then straighten that right leg and hold on to the big toe, keep the spine straight. And then we're gonna go ahead and bring the feet side by side, interlace the fingers, raise the hands overhead, coming onto the tippy toes. Full breath in, beautiful exhale, allowing the toes and heels to come back down. And then we're gonna go ahead into warrior three. So palms together, overhead, thumbs crossed. Keep a straight line from the toes, fingertips. Reach the hands forward, lift the right foot off the ground. Level the hips, lengthen the neck, keep the head between your arms. Beautiful. We'll go ahead, lower the foot back down, bring the feet side by side, interlace the fingers and raise the hands over the head, coming onto the tippy toes. Heels come together. Beautiful, and you can rest the heels back down to the floor. We're gonna go ahead and intense side stretch on the left, the left leg. It's gonna go back, again, point at 45 degrees, legs are straight. Hips are squared, interlace arms behind your back, lower the upper body to be level with the ground. Beautiful, go ahead, raise up, inhale. Arms are gonna go overhead, and then exhale, folding from the hips, relaxing the neck and back down. Maybe resting the fingertips on a block, around the floor. And then we're gonna go into extended hand to big toe. Inhale, raise the upper body, Bring that left foot to meet the right hand. Straighten the right leg. You can bend, lift, and then straighten that left leg. Hold on to the big toe. Keep the straight spine. Bring the feet side by side. Interlace the fingers and raise the hands over the head. Coming onto the tippy toes. Heels together. Engage the core. Beautiful. And rest the heels back down. Palms are going to go together over head. Thumbs crossed, keep a straight line from the toes of fingertips, reach your hands forward and lift that left foot off the ground. Hips are level, lengthen the neck, keep the head between your arms and warrior three. Beautiful, and you can go ahead and lower that foot down, back to the mat, bring the feet side by side, interlace the fingers, raise the arms and hands over the head, coming back onto the tippy toes, full breath all the way in and all the way out, bringing the heels of the feet back down to the mat. Beautiful, rest the arms side by your side. And we're gonna go into yogi squat, curating a bit of space between the feet, rotating the feet out a little bit. We're gonna allow our hips to lower in between our legs. Hands are gonna come to heart center. And we're gonna draw the shoulder blades down back and together, lengthening the neck, straightening the spine, press the heels into the ground. 
catching our breath here. to tabletop as we get ready for pigeon bringing the left knee forward towards that wrist allowing the ankle to rest in front of the opposite hip back leg is straight top of the foot rests on the mat hips are squared and you have the option to keep the hands in front on the floor and the upper body raised with the chest shining forward or if you want, you can relax the upper body down to the mat, resting the head on the arms or mat. Completely up to you and what feels good in your body today. You can try both, either one, see if you prefer one over the other. We're gonna be here for a few minutes, so feel free to adjust as needed for your comfort level. you had your upper body resting on the floor you can go ahead and press your hands into the mat raising your upper body and we're going to go back into tabletop so we can go into pigeon pose on the right bringing the right knee forward allowing the ankle to rest in front of the opposite hip the back leg is straight 
top of the foot rests on the mat, hips are squared, and again you have the option to keep your hands in front on the floor with your arms straight, upper body up and raise and chest shining forward, or allowing your upper body to relax down to the mat, resting your head on your arms or your mat, and again we'll be here for a few minutes. So feel free to adjust as needed and this side may feel completely different. So maybe it feels better to keep your arms straight and your upper body raised. Or to come down. Maybe you want to use a block as well uh, for your hips. Uh, underneath that leg. Beautiful, and you can slowly press your hands into the mat, bring your upper body up, and come to bring your legs in front of you. We're gonna bring the bottoms of our feet together, ground through our sits bones, Maybe we hold on to our feet together in front or maybe we just allow our body to melt forward uh, with our hands extended out. If you like, you can also use a, a bolster here um, to kind of make it a little bit more passive and hold on to it, kind of hug it there and just melt. We're gonna be in this pose for quite a bit, so uh, listen to what your body is asking for. And the closer you bring your feet towards spine, you'll feel a different sensation there than you would if you keep your feet further away from your spine. Um, neither one is necessarily better than the other, it's just kind of up to you to where you feel uh, you need the stretch.
And you can slowly allow the upper body to roll on up. And we're going to bring our legs behind us, coming on uh, our, our front body onto the mats into crocodile. Relaxing the lower body into the mat. Resting one cheek of our face onto the mat or on our hands. We're gonna focus on our breath, allowing our body to really melt into the mat here. Stretching the sides of our neck as well in this pose. Allowing our abdomen to fully expand and be felt uh, by the ground as we inhale and as we exhale just drawing that belly button back towards the spine and turn your head in the opposite direction, resting on the opposite side. Thank you. 
to roll on over to our backs and straighten the legs, pressing the shoulders into the ground. We're gonna lift and bend the left knee in line with the hip and let the knee relax down across the right side body. The left arm can come out by your side or cactus. We'll be here for a bit, so adjust as you feel is best. Really allowing our bodies to relax, following our breath, allowing any muscle tension to relax and let go. your hand to assist bringing that left knee back up and then straightening that leg down and we're going to go ahead and get ready for our abdominal twist on the right side so again just kind of resetting our body letting the legs stay straight pressing the shoulders into the ground and this time we'll lift and bend that right knee in line with the hip and we'll let the knee relax down across the left side body and the right arm can come out by your side, maybe you look in that direction, allowing our body again just to melt into the floor, releasing any extra held tension in our body.
you can go ahead and bring that leg back to meet the other as we get ready for Shavasana, our last deep relaxation pose. We will be here for almost 10 minutes. So go ahead and grab your blanket, maybe a bolster, whatever you need to get really comfortable in this position. And you can stay here as long as you need. But really just use this time for yourself and to really just relax and listen to what's coming up. Let go of any tension in the body. Maybe you dim the lights. Do a body scan, bringing awareness to each individual area of the body. Maybe starting from the toes, the ankles, the calves and shin, the knees. eyes, the hips, the stomach, the abdominal area, our diaphragm, our lungs, our arms, our hands, our fingertips, going back up the arms, forearms, elbow, shoulders, to the throat, cheeks, the ears, the eyes, the forehead, top of the head, Turn that skin going from the top of the head back down to the toes.
slowly begin to bring ourselves back to this present moment in our bodies. Maybe wiggle out the toes, roll the ankles, the wrists, fingers. Maybe stretching the arms and legs in opposite directions. Maybe bringing the knees into the chest. Giving yourself a big hug. And then coming into a seated position. Thank you for joining me for this new moon yoga sequence. I hope that after this practice, you're feeling ready to lead your life with passion, courageously, and always with love. I will be making more videos like this. So if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be notified when the next video comes out. Until then, take care. I'll see you next time.